welcome to day one of my closet. Look at this atrocity. I am going to be heading to lunch in about 20 minutes. I don't have specials today, so I just wanted to kind of scope out the closet. I think this is the longest I've been in the closet. Just scoping things out, seeing the damage I've done all year long. This is a first for me, guys. My closet has never looked this bad. I don't even know what's behind this. And just things stuffed. Anyway, I have 20 minutes to kind of see what I can get done. And this will be day one of cleaning out my closet because I'm getting ready to switch classes. Just a little tip. Um, whenever you know that you're going to pack, you want to ask the building service workers because they have access to tons of boxes. So this is what I've managed to get from the building service worker and she says that she has tons more. And the only thing I don't like is that they're all different sizes, but you know, a box is a box, right? So whatever's going to help me get packed, um, I will take. The only thing is now they're just sitting right here. Am I Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday. I am in my room on a Saturday. I wanted to just kind of show you some of the progress. I managed to clean out two shelves and kind of shuffle some things around, but everything is going to make it into boxes this morning. I have about an hour and a half of free time because I'm here visiting my mom. So I decided to stop for an hour and a half to see what else I couldn't get done. I have some music playing in the background, The Great Escape. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But I'm pumped and I'm ready to be as productive as I can because I have a whole bunch of stuff that needs to go in boxes. Like, this is crazy. Help me somebody, help me. Surprisingly, this is the only trash I've managed to throw away. This is kind of my catch-all box that's been underneath my desk. And it has substitute binders, it has candy, and just some, a whole bunch of random stuff. I actually, so I purchased these on Amazon, and they're in my Amazon store. These are great. I've actually used these to organize my math multiplication centers, and I love the system. These <laughs> left in there was this little cork board thing that I used to decorate my classroom at the beginning of the year and then this is the stuff that I'm going to organize in there <laughs> strategy or tact when it comes to putting my stuff away everything just kind of goes inside one of the big shelves in my closet so when I move to a portable next year where I'm gonna have little space I'm gonna have two closets but they're not as big as that one over there combined at least I don't think so that just means that I'm gonna have to stack a bunch of my stuff loosely in my closets so I think that one of my goals for the summer is going to be to invest in containers um, like the big tubs the little containers and that way I can stack everything neatly oh my god I just noticed I have a little bruise on my arm those are teacher scars right over there like when you're moving things you're bound to bump into things all right so I got my music going I am so into this old-school punk rock tech music all American rejects is playing right now okay so this is where we left off yesterday. My goal right now is to pack all of this stuff that's coming with me to the portables. So I brought little shoe boxes, little shoe boxes. I brought shoe boxes to kind of help organize this stuff and hopefully over the summer when I buy containers, it'll just go from the shoe box to the container. And so it begins the infamous teacher share table. 
and I think we're not allowed to do this this year but it's being done anyway and I wish you guys were here with me right now in person to tell me not to do what I'm about to do because I really feel like taking this with me like these little containers here you know how I just mentioned about storage and how that's my goal this summer um, I think I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take it all right that seals the deal so they do have lids and I am taking them with me to my new classroom so I'm gonna pick up this mess and drop this off to my room and then head out officially since that was what I was gonna do until I stopped to get water and then I noticed this so everything happens for a reason it was meant to be right here's how I'm gonna justify what just happened in the staff lounge on a Sunday morning on my way to the car but before I do, I also am going to admit that I got this magnetic set of letters and numbers that was on the table as well. So here's why I did it. Because I have never gone to the staff lounge to pick up items teachers have left behind on the share table and have never used it. With the exception of the spinners that I got two years ago. But I know I'm going to use them next year. I promise. I swear I'm going to use them. The other reason is because I did say I am going to make it a goal to organize my materials so that I'm not just putting it neatly into my big shelves. These not only came with lids, but they're stackable. So this I'm off to a good start and it was free. I didn't have to spend any money. I can put rubber bands in there. I can put pens, um, popsicle sticks that I have all over the place. Um, I can use it to put my to put border. I can roll the border. I could maybe even stack like two sets of border in here. I'm telling you, I will find a way to use that and I will let you know next year when I do because they're going to go in boxes. So my empty shelves are starting to get cluttered all over again. But really it's because I'm cleaning out this one over here. Do you see? Wrong direction. Here it goes. No, no. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. This one was filled up to the top with anchor charts and boxes and just random things and these random things I should say and so I can now trash some of the stuff. I one of the things I love about this like moving process is that I'm purging a lot but also I come across these cute uh, reminders of my teaching like back in the day when I started. I think they sound like I've been teaching for like tons of years. This is my seventh year of teaching but anyway um, it's just really nice memories that I have. They're all right, so I finished sorting the loose anchor charts that I had in my closet. So now this is the reading pile, and this is going to go. So this pile of reading anchor charts is going to get clipped on any one of these four. Now this is one hanger that comes with a set of four like clips to help you organize or just to help you keep it all together, which I love. I got this at Ross. So the pink one has these pink clamps. That's for reading. And then I have this one for math. So you notice how all these anchor charts are all math and they are in the green clamps. Once you have sorted and organized your anchor charts and you've hung them up on these um, hangers with clamps, it's really easy to just kind of peruse through your pre-made anchor charts. Or just oh, I'm sweaty. Did anyone ever listen to Lincoln Park? I have them right now on Pandora. Why did I just do this? I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm going crazy because it's 5.15 and I want to go home. But I have to pack my entire classroom by Friday. I hate when this happens. So I was clearing out this bin of all this leftover party stuff from the year. And guess what I find? More anchor charts. And I just organized them. So now I have to take them out and organize them. Or maybe not because I don't have time like that. I'm probably just going to put them in the box just as they are. I told you I was going to find a nice way to use them. All right, this one has been cleared out. This one, thank God, is done. This one took me like an hour. I'm ready to go. This one I did during lunch. So that's two more shelves down. Okay, everyone, I swear that I have actually done work. I had to restuff the shelves with loose items, like the really big items that don't need to be boxed. And either they're in like plastic containers or they are 
big things that don't need to be packed up and these two shelves since I'll be teaching summer school um, I decided to leave my summer school stuff there so I have easy access when I come back this is um, the amount of boxes I packed um, here I ended up packing everything else I have 36 boxes total that will be moving to portables um, this stayed up for two reasons a because I'm gonna be teaching summer school in this room and B because I had already started stacking these boxes so I couldn't reach it anymore so I decided to leave this little thing here and my bulletin board stay up because like I said I'll be here for the summer and my carpet they requested that this remain open and flat out because they're going to shampoo and for the first time this year we did not have to stack our desks and chairs which is great um, because they want to go ahead and clean that stuff as well this I'm going to be taking home with me so other than that I am ready to sign out I am exhausted beyond belief and I'm just I can't believe it's over I'm I'm sad it was a very bittersweet moment because one of my students started crying as soon as that end of the school day bell went off he just burst into tears and I knew he didn't want to go home and it broke my heart and I just feel like a lot was unfinished, you know, but my time with them is gone. It's done. And that little boy who burst into tears, it really affected me. I asked him what was wrong. I, I remember thinking, you know, did someone do something to you? Did I say something? It was definitely a tough year. and. Honestly, when everything is said and done, I wouldn't change anything about it because wherever there is struggle, there is success. And that's one of the things I've taught my students this year. And even though it was hectic up to the point of dismissal, and some of them were ready to bolt out the door, I stopped everyone and I told them to sit down. And I said, just give me one more minute of your time before you walk out these doors. And I told them how proud of them I was and that they always have a friend in me. I did want to say thank you to all of you who have been following me on this journey. I believe this is the first year where I actually logged as much as I did um, in terms of the school year and me being in the classroom. And I'm looking forward to being able to look back on these videos and see my growth and just kind of see how I was at this point in my life. I'm glad that I had that opportunity and I'm so thankful that you guys were there with me um, watching and supporting every step of the way. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Please comment down below and don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'm also on Instagram and I have a tea for tea store. I'll have all the links down below so that you can check them out. Just click on show more.